In this video, I'm going to give you a challenge, a brain teaser of sorts, and it involves weighing coins. So here it is. So say you have 12 coins, one, two, three, four, maybe they're quarters or something, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And either they are all exactly the same weight or one of them has a different weight and all the others are the same. And if one of them ha and, and if there is one that has a different weight, then it may be either lighter or heavier than the others. But you don't know whether there is one that's different, and you also don't know which one it is, and you also don't know whether it's lighter or heavier. Okay, now you also have a scale or a, a balance. So you have a balance here. You know, like the, the scales of justice. That's its little base. Okay, and this is your this is your balance. And so you can take some of these coins. Maybe you take like maybe you take like these these two here, and then and then maybe I don't know these two here or something. And you can put some of the coins on one side. So I get some coins over here and some coins over here, and then the balance will either balance or it won't so it's either going to it's going to do one of the following three things either this side is heavier and this side is lighter so in that case we would have whoop we would have this sort of situation this is heavier this is lighter or or this side is lighter and this side is heavier so that would be like this sort of situation or they are exactly the same and they balance so that would be sort of as I've drawn it above. So they balance. So there's three alternatives here, three things that can happen. One, two, three. For any two groups of coins that you put on, put on the scale. So now here's the problem. Your task, if you choose to accept it, is to determine whether one of, this, one of, one of these coins is different. And if so, which one and is it heavier or is it lighter? So that's your task. Is there, a, is there an odd coin? Which one is it? And is it heavier or lighter? That's your task. And of course, okay, now that's not too difficult. You, you know, and, and of course, the only thing you can do is, is use the scale. That's the only means you have. You don't have any other things that you can compare these against or anything like that. All you can do is put different groups of coins on the scale. And here's, here's the clincher. Here's the tricky part. The tricky part is you have to be able to do this using the scale only three times. Three times. Of course, you know, if you could use it arbitrarily many times, then, that then it would be easy. But the, the hard part is, can you do it in three uses of the scale for three different pairs of groups? Can you compare their weights and, and, and determine the out, you know, to, to solve your task? Okay, so that is the, the, the brain teaser. That's, that's the problem. And I challenge you to try to solve it on your own. Don't, don't look it up or anything like that. Try, try to solve it on your own. Try to figure out how you can use the scale you know, three times and, and figure out that, the answer, which, whether there's one lighter or heavier, and, and if so, which one, and is it lighter or heavier? And so this is a, this is a difficult problem. I think I, I when I first came across it, when a friend first told me this problem, I was stumped. I, I couldn't I couldn't you know I didn't see how to do it. And uh, but it turns out there is a very nice way to think about problems th this problem and problems of this sort using some ideas some just some basic ideas from information theory. And uh, so I would encourage you to try to try to think about this, try to figure out how you would solve this. And, uh, oh, you know, and of course, when you do it, you know, you have to specify exactly which groups you're going to weigh and, and in what, you know, in what order. And, and if one if you get one outcome, then what will you do next? And so on and so forth. So you'll have sort of, you know, a plan of, of attack, a strategy of how to how to solve it. And so there is a there is a, a nice, nice simplifying uh, 
perspective that, that you can, a way to approach this type of problem using information theory that makes it much, much simpler to solve. And so maybe later I will, I will give you the clue of how to solve it. But for now, I encourage you to try to do this on your own. And um, it's pretty tough. I, I think, I don't know if you'll be able to do it. I, so it's a challenge, it's a challenge. Okay, so that's, that's the brain teaser. See ya.